Columbus to 130. Welcome back to Central Valley Talk. Coming to you live from our Tower District Studios in Fresno. Thanks for joining us on this Wednesday. It's June the 2nd. I'm Austin Reed. Hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. My next guest joining us live via Zoom on this super hot Wednesday. It's 1 03 already in downtown Fresno. Uh, Professor Peter Phillips, author of Giants, the Global Power Elite, joining us. Good afternoon, sir. Hello. Thank you for having me on, Mike. Thank you. Oh, I'm Austin, by the way. My director is Mike. He's, he's oh, okay. behind the scenes. Hey, so I wanted to talk a little bit about, about this book. By the way, where are you located? Uh, Sonoma State University is, is where I'm based, and that's Sonoma County. Perfect. Okay, I, great. I live out by Bodega Bay. So it's not as hot in that part of the state as it is in the valley today. Oh, we had fog this morning. It was cool here. <laughs> Jeez Louise, jealous. Tell us a little bit about your book. Well, Giants, uh, the Global Power Elite, is based on a data collection in 2017. It came out in 2018. And it's about um, who manages the, the, the concentrated wealth of the world. So there are 17 trillion dollar investment companies these are like blackrock blackrock is over seven trillion dollars now that manage various people's money most of this money is from billionaires and millionaires who have excess capital and they put it in a um, a money management uh, company so there's 17 companies that that uh, have over a trillion dollars worth of, of investments um i i looked at these 17 they are um, highly interconnected. There's only 189 people that uh, nine, 199 people that manage these companies on their board of directors. These people control collectively in 2017 40 trillion dollars worth of investment capital. Wow! So it's easy to say that is like the central core of global capital. There's only 250 billion dollars worth of investment, you know, in the world. Um, that most of that investment is tied up in, in capital buildings and real estate and, and things. So this is money. This is people investing money, buying stocks. And these companies uh, try to get a return in the 7% or plus range for, for their clients. And uh, they're highly concentrated. And they're also highly interconnected. There's over $400 billion worth of capital that are cross invested in the 17 companies. So they're all looking at each other in terms of policy and how they're going to invest and, and that. So we call these this the kind of the global power elite and that most governments, capitalist governments in particular, um, their number one priority is to protect global capital. And certainly for the US that's the case. And so the US has you know military around the world and if a regime isn't, um, cooperating with capital investment, um, then it's time for regime change. So um, we engage in those kinds of activities as well. So it's really about who are the most powerful people um, managing wealth in the world, how they are interconnected. They all know each other or know of each other. Um, and it, it's increasingly concentrated so that uh, wealth is concentrated now, of course, most of the upper 1% of the world, 80% of the people in the world live on less than $10 a day. Half the people in the world live on less than $3 a day. So this wealth inequality is, is just massive and, and increasingly concentrated. So any kind of you know major wealth concentration is protected by governments and encouraged uh, and allowed to continue to expand. Is there anything that can be done about this? Well, I mean, the, these people, they, they meet with um, politicians and policymakers, uh, and they form their own groups. Like, like the Trilateral Commission is made up of 400 business leaders from around the world. They meet regularly, setting policy recommendations for governments and uh, and and other and other policy organizations 
the Atlantic Council is a big one, the, the Trilateral Commission, um, a council of 30. And these are, these are international. So these are all closely tied in the World Bank, the World Economic Forum, um, and international organizations that help regulate capital and how it's, how it's administered. So this is beyond just the U.S. government. These are people, capital investors, who are um, all over the world and um, in, are strongly influenced how governments um, manage uh, their populations, um, try to make sure that capital is can flow and is invested uh, in their regions and uh, give high priority to that. So we're looking at organizations that fund global warming, that encourage military protection and interventions, that um, want to protect their capital at all costs and uh, have governments that, that are willing to do that. So when did you start this book originally? Like, when did you begin writing? Well, I'm a political sociologist. My entire career has been looking at uh, media and propaganda hmm. and power elites. I was a director of Project Censored for 14 years and put out an annual book uh, called Censored, the, the news that wasn't covered by the corporate media. Um, I've written other other elites. My dissertation was on the Bohemian Club. So I was looking at their that elite private organization based in San Francisco and has a summer camp up here in Sonoma County. And um, so I've had looked at elites and policy for my entire career. I'm now a professor emeritus um, and I'm working on another edition of the Global Power Elite Oh. We'll focus more on their on their culture and how they interact as as a uh, as a class of people worldwide. We've got about a minute left. People can order the book right now. The website is sevenstories.com slash book slash four oh nine seven dash giants. That's the best way, right? Yeah, I mean you can just put in giants of global power elite any search engine and um, you can, it'll be, it's in bookstores, it's on Amazon, it's all over the place. So, Perfect. Uh, and it's also in six languages. So oh. if you read Spanish or Portuguese or Japanese or, or Korean, uh, you can get a version in, in another language. And I'd love for you to come back when you release the second edition. Okay. That would be great. That would be great. Anything else? Anything I missed? Anything you wanted to add? No, I just think people should be aware that uh, capital is very concentrated. A very small number of people, a few hundred, manage the major major core of global capital, and that they are they highly influence uh, government policies worldwide. Yeah, it's something that I think everybody needs to be at least aware of. Certainly. So, all right, uh, Professor Peter Phillips, thank you so much for joining us today. Okay, thanks very much for having me. Check out the book, The Global Power Elite, author of Giants, The Global Power of Elite, Peter Phillips. Coming up, we've got another live local guest standing by uh, from Fresno. We'll check in with her next.